In this video, I will talk you through how to set up your new Telstra smart modem and connect to your NBN service. This video focuses specifically on NBN fibre to the node and NBN fibre to the building, or FTTN and FTTB for short. If you have another connection type, please select the video that relates to that one. It is important that you set up your modem as soon as possible to ensure your services continue to operate while we complete your NBN activation. This setup process itself will take around half an hour and the transitioning of your fixed services to the NBN can take up to an hour. So it's a good idea to make sure you have another way to contact or be contacted if the need arises. A charged mobile should do the trick. Before we get started, have your Telstra smart modem and any cables that came in the box ready to go. Be sure to take the time to read any information that came with those devices, especially the incompatible devices section of your quick start guide. Decide on where your modem will live. You'll want to make sure this isn't inside a cabinet or behind any large objects to ensure you get the best Wi-Fi signal throughout your home. You'll also need to have one power outlet and a telephone wall socket nearby. Once you've settled on a spot, unplug any and all devices connected to telephone ports around your home. Now we're ready to begin. Retrieve the modem from its box and locate the cord with two grey ends. One end will already be connected to the grey DSL port on the modem. If you have a splitter with your setup kit, Please also plug the grey end into the grey DSL port and the black end into the black PSTN port. Take the other end and plug it into the telephone wall socket. The power cord for the smart modem will be connected already. So now take the grey power adapter, plug that into a nearby power outlet and switch it on. The Telstra smart modem is now going to start up. When it does, the light at the front will be white letting you know that the device has powered up. While it's in the process of connecting to the internet, it will turn orange, and once a connection is established, it will turn green. It's not uncommon for that light to change back and forth between these colours while it's starting up, so don't worry if it goes green for a moment and then back to orange again. This startup and connection process will usually take around 15 minutes, but can take up to half an hour in some instances. Once the light on the front settles on green, you're ready to connect to the internet. Even if you don't need to use your service right away, it's important to leave that all set up as we will need to run a few tests on your newly connected service just to make sure everything is working properly. But if you do want to get into it right away, you don't need to wait. We'll run those tests in the background so you can feel free to start connecting your devices to your Telstra smart modem. To connect to your modem via Wi-Fi, locate the fridge magnet that came in the box with your smart modem. This will have the login details you need. To connect to your modem via Ethernet cable, grab the LAN cable, that's the one with two yellow ends. Plug one end into any yellow port on the Telstra smart modem and the other into your device's network port. If you want to plug your phone in as well, take the grey cable which came with that device and repeat the Ethernet cable steps, plugging it into the green phone port. And remember, your modem will need to be switched on to make and receive calls. If your modem is having trouble connecting to the NBN network, try turning it off, waiting a minute, and turning it back on again. And we're done. It's as easy as that. But if you do have any other questions or just want some advice about getting the most out of your internet service, head to telstra.com forward slash support and check out our online help centre.